Thank you for joining us at another Fishbowl Inventory tutorial here at Brando Consulting. I thought it would be helpful to go over a common process I see some of our customers doing on the sales order screen. That is, first create an estimate, then receive a 50% deposit, then finally issue the sales order. Let's walk through it. First, to go to the sales order screen, click here, here, or here. Then the top left hand corner, click New. Follow the cursor to the customer field. Enter the customer name. Then the cursor highlights in the quantity field. Follow the cursor and enter the quantity. Hit Tab and the cursor advances to the product field. Here you enter the keyword of a product that shows up in the description or the product number if you have the product number. Then repeat for each part you have. Follow the cursor to the quantity field, click tab to the product field, enter a, a product, and repeat for each one. I think I'm going to do a, a pin in this case. Okay. We'll do black. Okay. Now you might get this pop-up. You can also turn this pop-up off. This pop-up is helpful if you need to know if your quantity is in stock or not. This pop-up comes up if you're short on quantity in the location group you're selling the part in. It tells you some interesting things like the lead time it'll take to get in after you purchase it. It gives you an option to drop ship. It even lets you drill down and see the details behind the product there. Very nice. I'm going to click Add Anyway. Now if you make a mistake on any of these lines, you can delete or edit over here on the right by highlighting the line and deleting or editing. Now finally, we have an estimate. Notice on Fishbowl Inventory, the sales order screen and the estimate screen is the same screen. The only difference is the status between the sales order and the estimate. So notice if I issue this, it will change the status to issued. If I unissue, the status changes back to estimate. We're going to just click save and leave it as an estimate. Now we're ready to send an invoice to the customer. So I'm going to click on Invoice, Print Preview, hit Email, and change the language to say, please remit 50% deposit. Then click Send. All right, and that will send this invoice to the customer. The invoice is now in the customer and the customer looks over the invoice and says, all right, that's a great price, a great product, we wanna buy. So they call you back with their credit card number. That's what we all like to see, huh? So with their credit card in hand, they call you on the phone and you go to the top left-hand corner, click payment then enter the payment type, credit card in this case, enter 50% of the total, then put in the credit card number. This is a test credit card number you can use too if you'd like. And we'll type in the name, hit process, and we've received a payment. Notice the payment down here is half of what we invoice them. Now, you might want to send them a receipt to say, you know, thank you for the payment and we confirm that we got a receipt. So to do that, go to Reports, select the POS receipt, and there's our beautiful receipt that says we've received half of the total amount and here's the amount remaining. 
Now, after you receive a payment in Fishbowl, it'll queue up that payment in a holding tank per se, and when it's exported to QuickBooks, that payment will show up as a payment in QuickBooks. So we created an accounting transaction. Finally, now that we've received the payment, our very last step is we click Issue. If you'd like, you can send a sales order confirmation to say, we are now going to process the order, and it gives them an attachment with the sales order. Your sales order can be found here if you'd like to print preview it. And if you need to edit anything on the sales order, click Modify Report. Click on Optionals or Columns, and don't forget to scroll down to see all the options if you need to edit anything on this sales order. So let's just review those steps at lightning speed now. Go to the top left hand corner, click New, enter the customer, enter the quantity and product, click Save, receive a payment, then Issue. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for joining us today, and if you have any other suggestions of any other videos you might think are helpful, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be happy to create some videos for that. And to see any new videos we're coming out with, of course, subscribe and you'll get all the new videos.